Greetings viewer and welcome to another episode of Biker Bites. I'm your host Jason and we are in the surgery once again uh, to do some work on the doctor. And what have we got today? Well, we are going to install some new bars. These are Pro Taper Contour High Bars. And we have, can you see me? Yeah. We have some RHK 2.5 centimeter risers. So hopefully this will give me a better stance on the bike when standing up uh, because it's a bit cramped. I mean, I'm not a tall guy, I'm about 5'10"-ish. Um, but even so, um, because I haven't lowered the pegs, it's still quite, sort of bend me over so hopefully those bars and the risers will help with that now I have jumped the gun a little bit and removed the bars and I've just hold, held them back with a bungee and I've put the first riser on I've yet to screw it in properly and then what I intend to do is just drop the bars on the top of that and just get a feel for how it's going to feel okay so the risers are on there we go now I'm trying to fit these bars on but I've hit across a bit of a problem let's just uh, put them there like that now you can see that side fits snugly there but if you can see that side there's a gap There's a gap. Now, now, um, when I came off a couple of months ago, the right side of the bike took a, a big hit and the bars bent. So that's basically the premise for me putting on these fat bars. Now also it looks like that this particular um, handlebar holder god damn I can't speak may have been bent now I know it's at an angle but so is the other one a little bit but it's a, obviously a little bit off camber so I'm just wondering whether or not that's going to cause me a problem so what I'm going to do is I'm going to unscrew this here and see whether or not I can coax it back into position so uh the bars, bars will fit, so I'm gonna have a go at that. All right, viewer, as is normally the case, the, the bolt here is pretty hard to get a wrench in. So time to strip the bike, took the side panels off, the seats come off. I'm gonna to have to remove the tank anyway to um, be able to get at all the cables and loosen those off to give them a bit a bit more uh, reach for when the new bars come on. So I've disconnected the, uh, the pipe up, can you see, up there. Caught the excess fuel, obviously the tap's on off. And I'm just gonna undo these bolts. Nice and simple, even for me like this blah 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 and then pull the tank off set these aside somewhere safe now i've only got about i don't know five liters seven liters in here so it should be fairly easy to remove there we go Look at that, the doctor's naked. Like you uh, sometimes are in surgery. Alrighty, so I've loosened it off. And you can see we've got a bit of play now. Kind of feels a bit spongy, a bit spongy-wongy. So, 
doing this one-handed view out. All right, so that's better. That's a good fit. Yep, all right. Cool, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to uh, do some magic. No, I'm going to put the bars on. Um, yep, yeah, and then just do it up and just get a feel for it. There we go. Put the seat back on just so I can have a squat. Looks kind of funny, eh? Look at that. But uh, yeah, it's a bit loose at the moment because I haven't tightened these up. I just want to have a feel for it, but um, how can I do this? One-handed. I probably can't. But anyway, yeah, it's a nice position. Sat on here. There's more of a bend in my bend in my arm now, so that's going to help vastly. When I'm sat on. Okay, so that really is the easy bit. What I've got to do now is um, take everything off the original bars and put them on the new bars. Okay, so I put the original bars back on, just one clamp, um, because obviously I need something to hold this down while I unscrew all these bits and pieces. So this is the part I'm not looking forward to. Could be messy, but let's uh, let's give it a go. So first, uh, which is tight and which is loose. And first we'll go for the bark busters. Kids screaming in the background. I'll get back to you when I've got the Bart Busters off and then we'll move on to some of else. Okay, that's the Bart Buster off. This is next. Now this is gonna be a real bugger. I've seen YouTube videos on ways to do it, so I'm going to have a go. Okay, what I've done is I've gotten a wire. It's quite a thick wire. I'd prefer a thinner one, but this is all I got. And I've just stuck it in a tub of grease. And I've been able to work it in like that. So I'm going to just work it away around and then squirt in some water displacement 40. So let's see how it goes. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Let that Kind of soak, I'll wiggle it around a bit and see whether or not it loosens it off a bit. It's just this part around here that's the problem. So I just need to stick it in a bit further. Here we go. We got a yay! Right, I think I'm going to take the wing mirror first, and this. Now I, this is bust. It got water in and went manky. So I've got a new one of these to put on. Um, but I'm going to take the wing mirror off, loosen all the ties, and then I can remove this. Okay, so I've undone this bolt here. There's no nut on the end, but that just loosens the clutch. And two screws under here, there and there. Undo them. That should give you um, space for the top to come off. And then you can just wiggle it back like that. Probably a bit hard for you to see in that way because of the light. 
um, because there is a notch in here that goes into that hole to keep it in place. So if you give it enough room here by undoing these bolts, nuts, screws, you can then just lift it off there and free it from that hole, that lug. But to get this off, it does mean I need to take the bars off so I can slide them across and uh, maneuver this off. So that's what I'm going to do. What a mess. Poor old doctor. He's in a bad shape. Now the tricky part is clutch cable. Not enough stretch. Not enough stretch with all the cables loosened and everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect this here to give me more room. But first, I need to mark the position with a Sharpie. Like that. That should do. Right, now I can undo this and take this off and I should have some more room. All right, viewer, that's one side off. What a sorry state of affairs. It's all for the best, Doctor. So taking that off here enabled me to loosen the, uh, the clutch and I was able to slide that off. So now I've got to do this end. Okay, two screws here and there. Undo them and look what happens. Oh, we just don't have enough room. Well, I can always take the bars off again and slide them to the way. I've undone two screws here and here. These, this is the ignition switch. That, that seems a bit tight. <clears throat> I don't know whether or not there's another lug that side as well. I wouldn't have thought so. I don't think it's attached to the to the brake. Anyway, I'm going to loosen that a bit more, then loosen this, and then I can slide the whole thing off when I loosen this and slide the bars that way. There's that. that and we're off where are you there you are bars off woohoo now I gotta put the sucker back together hmm okay I mean, taking things apart is the easy bit, right? Bit of tugging and a bit of pulling. Let's put him back together again to make it look pretty. It's gonna be the hard bit. I think it's about 12 o'clock now anyway. So now I've got this far, I'm gonna break for lunch, put a bit of fuel in my system uh, to help me think. And then we'll, uh, we'll resume and put the new bars on. See you in a bit, guys. We have to can you see that? <clears throat> we have to chop our knobs off. There's one there. See it? And then there's one here. So I'm just going to snip those off with a pair of cutters, maybe, or a Stanley knife, and then and smooth it over. Mm. Well, pliers just couldn't cut it. Pardon the pun. So it was Mr. Stanley the knife. Um, you can take one of the sides off on the right hand side and uh, yeah, just just uh, basically sliced it and then cut across. It was a lot easier and it makes for a smoother, smoother cut. Okay, right, let's, uh, let's get assembling. All right, viewer, this is proving to be quite a challenge. Um, putting the choke back on um, with this gnarled grip here is just like really bad. It's really 
just does not want to move. Perhaps I'll put a bit of WD-40 on it, see how that goes. Man, this is a real hard job. <sighs> I'm only a third of the way. It just... Ah, well, I've got to keep going. Oh. That took about half an hour, 45 minutes. Alrighty, guys. Got this side on, it's only loose, but I just wanted to put it on. Um, I clamped this one side down just to give me a bit of assistance, a, a, another pair of hands. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is take this off once more um, and then I'll be able to slide the rest of the gubbins on. And so far, well, let's not, Let's not tempt fate, shall we? Let's not tempt fate. Good grief. This music isn't helping viewers. Come on. Holy smokes. about right in it. Don't even know what you can see. Can you see? Oh, here's the GoPro. There we go. GoPro. Yeah, that's about right in it. Alrighty. Let's uh let's put these risers on now secure everything down before I tighten the uh, the grips up and stuff Whew. getting near the end now viewers viewer hopefully more than one <laughs> alrighty so looking not bad I'm just going to tidy some of this shit up now, give myself a little bit more room um, because basically now I just need to do the, the final adjustments obviously on, on these controls here and, and line it up all nice, tighten things down, give it a bit of a clean and then the last thing I'll do is put this guard back on. But I will need to make sure that when I turn left and I turn right. No, that's wrong in it. I turn right and I turn left, but I've got enough cables. Oh man. This choke lever was the hardest thing to do. All right, I'm going to get tidied up a little bit collect my thoughts once more um, and I think this is the final stage of just putting it back together and lining things up nicely and uh, fine-tuning it right let's put this uh, clutch cable back on line it up hang on I'm gonna need two hands viewers Okay, clutch back on, 
lines up nicely with the mark. Okay, so let's do this side now. This side's pretty much um, on, but not sort of really tight, because obviously we've got to make the final tuning at a later time. But let's uh, do this. Oh, I've also got some mirror extenders on. Little bit of bling. You can't do a thing without a little bit of bling. Right, so now we've got to fix this back together. Here we go guys, here's a bit of bling. These are mirror extenders I got off eBay for about $19. So they just raise and extend the mirror out a bit. And also it looks kind of cool as well. Hairspray. It's actually hair freshener, whatever that is, but we'll give it a go. Whew, I think we're almost there. What do you think? Bit of bling. Risers, fat bars. Now I haven't changed this. I'm running out of daylight, I'm running out of time. It's been a bit of a struggle, especially with this. Um, yes, that's fully all the way back. Ooh, better tighten that up. Um, yeah, Whew, what a bit of a bit of a struggle. So I haven't replaced this. I'll do that another day. Simple job. I just want to tighten all the tie downs and uh, just put the armor back on his clothes, so to speak. And then we're done.
Yes, pretty darn nice. I do like these red touches. <laughs> yeah, you know me. All right, I think that looks really smart. And, the, and it seems to be a lot more open here now, which I like. Seems to be more roomy. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Bit of a squeeze by the look of it with these uh, throttle cables. I better give it a start, make sure that uh, the choke and everything is still all right. Oh, we better connect the petrol. Where are you, petrol? I stuck a bit of tape on the end there. Also marked it here. It says no wet off is because I keep getting it mixed up. Well, bit of a problem. The bars, because they're thicker, these don't fit in. So I'm assuming they make some smaller thingies for that. So I can't put these on. So that's going to have to be another day as well. So I'll probably do that and replace this at the same time. All right, well, that's basically it. I'm going to have to tidy this up. Then I've got some pork chops to cook. Um, but yeah, job done. I'm pretty pleased with that. Again, it was a bit hit and miss. I've never done this before. I'm not the world's best mechanic. In fact, I'm not a mecha anywhere near a mechanic. I used to play with Lego when I was a kid. So there you go. All in all, it wasn't a difficult job. It was more of a find your way around how to do it job. The hardest part was the um, choke lever, getting it over the, the gnarled end of the, of the handlebar. That was, that was the hardest bit. Apart from that, a little bit fiddly here and there, but, you know, nothing too complicated. So, if I can do it, you can do it. Alrighty. Job done. I'm going to get cleaned up, start the dinner, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. So, if you enjoyed this video, give us a like. And if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe to the channel would be great. Bike of Bites, over and out.